Hey everyone, me Arjit with a new video, and in this video, we are going to make a real time GPS tracker with Raspberry Pi, which looks something like this. And also, you are going to make this web page from which we can track our Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world. So, we'll click in the start tracking, and it will track our Raspberry Pi like this. And we'll click in the stop tracking, and it will stop tracking. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Here we need to use a Raspberry Pi, so you can use Raspberry Pi 0, Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4 as you want as the procedure is same. But I recommend it to use Raspberry Pi 0 as it's very much small. And we also need a GPS module. I will use Neo 6M GPS module as it's quite cheap and also very much accurate. But you can use any other GPS module if you want. So if you don't know how to use a Neo 6M GPS module or any other GPS module with Raspberry Pi, then you can watch my previous video where I have shown how to use a Neo 6M GPS module with Raspberry Pi and also I have shown you how to write a simple Python code using which you can access the GPS data. So make sure that you have watched that video. So now let's get into the code. Now in this video we are going to make this web page where we will track our Raspberry Pi. So basically our Raspberry Pi will send the data to this web page and we can track it from here. So if you click in the start track button it will start tracking like this and as soon as we click in the stop track button it will stop the track okay so at the end of the tutorial you will know how to make this web page okay so here i am going to use the api called pubnub so i'm going to use pubnub because and actually pubnub is a real-time data transferring api so using this i am going to send the gps data from raspberry pi to our web page now obviously we can use the simple sockets in JavaScript, but for a beginner, it will be a little bit difficult. And I want to make this tutorial as simple as possible. And that's why I'm going to use this API. And this API is totally free until you scale. So it's really good. And also we have advantage that in normal, if we use a normal socket in this web page, then we have to post this web page into a server and then only it will work. But in case of PubNub, we don't need to host it. We just uh, write the code and open in any browser and it will work perfectly. So we'll see all that later. So at first, let's get into the code. Okay, so here I'm using bracket to write the code. So I'm creating a new file. So as you can see, I have created a new file. And now what you can do, you can go to our website. The link will be in the description as always. And you go to the code section and copy this code. Okay, so copy the whole code. And now paste it here and make sure that you have save dot save as dot html okay now this code is not going to work if you just copy paste like that for example if i just save this save as and uh, for example map dot html and i am saving in desktop so i just save this page save this uh, code and now if i just open this in browser okay as you can see, nothing is working. We are just seeing this thing. Okay, so nothing is saying here. So we need to change few things in the code. So stay in this video and watch it. Okay, so that you can do that. So at first, here I am including the JS file of PubNub in this line. Then I am also including some bootstrap so that we can style it a little bit. So as you can see, my web page. So I have various style parameters here. So that's why I am using bootstrap. Okay, and you don't need to know bootstrap and things like this anyway, because I am I have just used that for style. You can style it in your way. And and as you can see here, there is important thing which is a button. This button using it, you can start the tracking and stop the tracking. So here the ID is action because in future we are going to use this ID to so that we can add functionality in this switch. Okay, and from here it is the main part, the JavaScript part. Okay and uh we have to understand it okay now at first we are declaring the latitude and longitude variable so it is the initial latitude longitude so as you can see if we just open the file for the first time it will uh initially it will locate to this position okay for example in my case it is in san francisco this is because i have given the san francisco's geo location so when our uh map will be initialized it will initialize with a uh, with a location 
and uh, it is the location so here you can change the location with anything you want and our map will initialize that location now here are some variables and uh, now it is the important part and this is the function initialize due to which our map is loading when we are actually opening the web page the map is loading and this is due to this function so in this version we are creating two objects map and mark so map is the object which is holding the whole map and mark is the object which is holding this mark okay and we have few parameters the important ones are here the latitude longitude so here we are uh, passing this latitude and longitude in this fund so in this object and that's why he is initializing with that location and also here's a zoom parameter so as you can see you can definitely manually zoom it and zoom out but still when you load it there will be a initial initialization zoom so you can change that zoom here so if we give it zero then uh, like if you give it zero then it will be it will show you the whole art and if we give it like hello like 15 or 20 it will show you even the buildings and the road so here i am giving 12 because it's giving good results and the second object is mark also in the mark we are giving the latitude longitude so that uh, it can mark that uh, position and one important thing is center here using this center thing because we want our map to be centered on our location so for example instead of this point if our point is here then our map will be centered like this okay now now here we are calling the initialize function and then here we are defining a function called lead draw and it is the most important thing because when our raspberry pi will send a new value our map will be like like this if you start as you can see when a new value will come it will draw the path and also will change the marker so this is the function which is doing all this so basically we will pass a pubnub object in, in this function so what is the pubnub object we will see later so inside the object we'll get the latitude and longitude so we'll saving in the variable lat, lat and lng and then again we are calling using those objects like map and mark and use the function set sensor set center so set center basically centers the map here so center the map in the location and then set position mark dot set position is going to mark that position with this marker and then and then the only thing we need to do is to draw this line now to draw this line we need an array so here i am defining a empty array uh, as you can see line chords and then when we will get a new position from our raspberry pi we will push the new position in the array okay so as our map will uh, like for example when we got a new point like this like new points we, is we are going to add those points in this uh, is this array and then here we are making a new object called polyline and polyline is the object which is going to this like line coordinates part is the name of the object which is going to uh, withdraw this path okay and in this uh, in this object we are giving the as you can see we are passing the line chords array in which all the coordinates are saving and uh, here is the color of the color of this line so obviously you can change that and in this way he is creating the path now here there is two and uh, this is how he is creating the markers and path things like that now this is some pubnub stuff so basically here is a channel name so channel name is where uh, basically like our raspberry pi will go it's going to send the data in this channel okay so the only thing you should uh, you should bother with is make sure that you remember this name because we need to use the same channel name in our raspberry pi also and here you need this public key and subscribe key now now we to get this keys you need to sign up in pubnub but it's totally free so to sign up you need to go to this site pubnadmin.pubnub.com slash register so it will look something like this okay you here you create a new account and then you go to admin.pubnub.com so if you go here here you can log in with your credentials so here i am login and uh, and here as you can see in the left side we have a key option click on the key and then you create a new key set uh, give it a name for example map 
and it will give you a new key set okay so now you copy it now obviously don't write this uh, key in your code because i am going to delete this key after this tutorial so make uh, your own key and then use that okay in the same procedure so copy these two keys from here and paste them here like this and you are done now here is the button so as i have said you that we are going to use that action id of this button so as you can see we have action here the button id and we are going to use this button id so that we can uh, we can add the functionalities and animate that so when we will click that button click that button and as you can see it is starting so basically when you click that button the text is start tracking so if we see that the text is start tracking we are going to subscribe to that pn channel now pn channel is this raspi tracker so subscription means that when our this object is going to subscribe to the channel it will receive the messages the messages which are published on that channel so basically our raspberry pi will publish the messages and our this object is going to receive those messages messages after it's subscribed so when we click the start tracking it will subscribe to the channel and then we are adding our listener so that list what the listener will do it will simply pass that object or the message he is getting from raspberry pi to the read draw function and as we know that read draw function is going to uh right going to make the new marker and also going to uh, like draw the path using that new point so basically as soon as we click in the start tracking our web page will get a new message if raspberry pi is sending it and then it will uh, send the message send this message to pass the message to read the function and read the function will draw it okay and uh, and after start tracking if it is stop tracking then what will do that it will like it will unsubscribe from the channel and as soon as it will unsubscribe you will no more receive any more message okay so that it will no more add those coordinates and also here are a few lines so these lines are for this animation and changing the text like as you can see green to red and changing the text things like that okay and uh, finally here we are adding the google uh, api google uh, map api so here you need to add your api key okay so now to get the api key you have to go to this link the link will be in the description anyway and if you open this link you will get something like this here you so i have already opened but you search for maps and you will get maps javascript api you click it and uh, it will open like this so here you have the enable key if you have not enabled it already so enable that and then go to credentials and then create credential api key and you will it will give you a new api key and again make your own because i am going to delete the api key after this tutorial now paste this uh, in this your google api key place and like this and then save this file okay now we are done with the javascript file so this is as simple as this and you also need the css file so for that you go to our site and here this is the css file you copy that i'm not going to explain you the css because it's up to you how you want to style your site so create a new file save this and make sure that you name it map.css because i have used that name while linking and save in the same folder i have saved we have you have saved that map.html so in in my case desktop uh, sorry uh, css css save that and finally we are done now let's just open let's open our uh this file map.html so now i have opened this and as you can see it's loading and as you can see we have got the map now now as you can see initially we are not getting it but after editing all those we are getting this but if we click on start tracking nothing is happening and why because no one is sending the data to our web page now how to check that if it's working or not we have to do a simple click you just go to our web page and from there you just copy this simple uh, javascript code and uh, paste it in your paste it in your site like this and here and as you can see it is a very small code so let's add it so as you can see we have created a function called new point and 
inside that function we are creating two variables x y which are some random we are generating some random small numbers in this x and y and then we are adding this x and y with our previous latitude and longitude the values we have uh, initially we have declared like in my case san francisco gps coordinates and then we are publishing like i already have said now in real uh, case raspberry pi will publish this data but just for testing here i am just writing this code and our this pubnub object will publish this fake random gps data on the same channel so on uh, in after each 500 millisecond uh, interval and then if we subscribe to this search here if we click in that button and if our uh, if our this object subscribe to the channel then it will receive these messages and then it will send those messages to this function and then the reply function will uh, draw the coordinates so in simple basically this function is going to create some random coordinates then we'll send those coordinates to uh, this one here and then in this in this pubnub object and here it will send uh, pass those coordinates to the redraw function and redraw function will draw those lines okay so now if we refresh it and now if we click in the strat tracking as you can see it's working properly so it's our that function creating some new points and then the redraw function is drawing them so uh, it's working properly now so in the next video what we have to do is we have to uh, write a simple python program which will like uh, in which we have to write a code like this which will get the gps data from the gps sensor and then we'll publish the gps data in the channel so this video is quite long and i think we should do that in the next video and uh, so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you want to know more about pubna visit their official blog okay so the link will be in the description and also make sure you have subscribed to my channel for upcoming videos and please hit the like button and uh, thank you